Hey there, Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. Have you recently stopped to look at your life from a big picture perspective? Do you feel like you're moving forward towards your goals or do you feel stuck in your routine? It's very easy to get lost in the motions of the day and repeatedly perform the same tasks every single day. These harmful yet small habits can pile up and take on bigger, often negative meaning later on. Thus, identifying the small signs as they creep into your lifestyle can help nip the problem at the bud. Before we begin, please note this is for educational purposes and is based on personal opinions. It's not a substitute for professional advice, but for general guidance. We advise you to always listen to your intuition and always do what is right for you. All right, moving ahead. Here are six warning signs that your life might fall apart. Number one, you're not interested in anything. Do you feel bored with life? This feeling is generally known as anhedonia and might be caused by a number of things such as depression, anxiety, stress, substance use, etc. Not having any interest makes it extremely difficult for you to find any motivation to carry on with your life goals. Getting out of bed in the morning seems a struggle. When you find yourself lacking a positive reaction to things that you used to feel happy about, it's important to act urgently before the development of any serious mental health issues. Taking small steps like slowly restarting activities that you remember you used to enjoy or staying active as much as you possibly can helps you keep on track with your motivation. However, if you feel nothing is working, seeking professional help allows you to cope better. Number two, you don't care about yourself or your home. How much effort are you putting into maintaining good overall hygiene? Showing indifference towards your own body and environment's condition is a clear indicator that not only are things not going smoothly, but that you've accepted this and given up. Of course, there are cases where you're simply too busy to properly care for your appearance and home. The main factor that you should focus on when thinking about this sign is whether you're indifferent to it or not. You can try cleaning your room or house and see if this actually makes a difference. Cleaning is reported as a useful technique to distract yourself from sad thoughts and sort out whatever is going on in your mind too. Number three, you refuse to communicate with others. When was the last time that you had a proper conversation with your family or friends? If you've been avoiding communication with anyone purposefully, then it might mean that there's a cause for concern. Yes, everyone needs their personal space to recharge and focus on their own thoughts. But if the reason you're isolating yourself relates to fear, then you might wanna do something to change this. This can be due to fear of people, social situations, difficult thoughts, and emotions. One of the best ways to beat this situation is by relying on others. Reaching out to your near and dear ones in a conscious effort can help you as they always want the best for you. Maybe they might give you some advice that will be extremely useful to you. Number four, you don't live in the present. Are you constantly thinking about the past or the future? Forget about the present. If you're constantly looking back at fond memories from the past or looking at the future, hoping that something will change and forget to actually do something to achieve it, then chances are that your life is on a bumpy road. There's nothing wrong with reminiscing. You probably have tons of fond memories from the past, but if you're constantly thinking about them, you'll end up wasting a lot of time and might get the feeling that you're stuck. Or if you're constantly thinking about the future, you might end up adopting a very passive stance. You'll have thoughts such as, things will get better soon, let's just wait it out. But by clearly focusing your efforts on your life goals and taking steps to move towards them, it stimulates you to stay in the present. Number five, you keep postponing things. Are you in a habit of constantly postponing things and never getting them done? It might also be an indicator that you're starting to feel lazy and have lost motivation and energy. Once again, you might be postponing things because you genuinely are too busy or have other things to do first, and that's completely okay. After all, you can only do so much in a day. However, if you're constantly postponing things, even when you have nothing else to do, that's when it gets worrisome. The hardest part is usually getting things started, so disposing of the list of excuses is the first step in the right direction. And number six, you hate your job. How happy are you in your current workplace? Yes, a lot of people can cope with their jobs without loving it, but they don't hate it either. If you find yourself constantly wanting to leave early, counting the seconds until you finally leave the workplace, or not satisfied by the economic security that it brings, then such a situation warrants change. 
Working a job that you hate will not only make you unhappy, but most likely make others unhappy as well. It's prudent to decipher such feelings and think of remedial measures. Now there is an emphasis that needs to be placed on whether something happens because you purposefully made it happen or if other factors are affecting it. When contemplating these situations, considering your circumstances is a major prerequisite. Since you might be doing some of the things discussed above for completely different reasons, addressing these in the best way as early as possible can help to live a fulfilling life. Do you think you have any of these habits? If so, do you think this helped you recognize them? Feel free to leave a comment down below with your thoughts, experiences, or suggestions. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there unaware of their side effects. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. And as always, thanks for watching.